Knight to e5. Queen to e5. That's totally barbaric. That's wizard's chess. I see you've packed. See, you haven't. Change your plans. My parents decided to go to Romania to visit my brother Charlie. He's studying dragons there. Good. You can help Harry then. He's going to go and look in the library for information on Nicholas Fermel. We've looked a hundred times. Not in the restricted section. Happy Christmas. I think we had a bad influence on her. Christmas, Harry. Happy Christmas, Ron. What are you wearing? Oh, Mum made it. Looks like you've got one too. I've got presents. Yeah. <laughs> there they are. Your father left this in my possession before he died. It is time it was returned to you. Use it well. What is it? Some kind of cloak. Well, let's see them. Put it on. Whoa! My body's gone! I know what that is. That's an invisibility cloak. I'm invisible. It's really rare. I wonder who gave it to you. There was no name. It just said, use it well. Hey, look, everyone. It's the heir of Slytherin. Be careful. He's a seriously evil wizard. <laughs> oh, come on, Harry. Fred and George are just having a laugh. They're the only ones. Okay, so half the school thinks you're nipping off to the Chamber of Secrets every night. Who cares? Maybe they're right. Harry! Harry! <gasps> oh, come on! Look, I didn't know I could speak parcel tongue. What else don't I know about myself? Look. Maybe you can do something. Even something horrible and not know you did it. You don't believe that, Harry. I know you don't. And if it makes you feel any better, Malfoy is staying for the holidays too. Why would that make anyone feel any better? Because 
In a few days, the Polyjuice Potion will be ready. In a few days, we may truly know who is the heir of Slytherin. Clever, Harry. But not clever enough. Besides, ah, we've got a better way. Guys, come on. I'm trying to get to Hogsmeade. We know. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll get you there. We'll show you a quicker way. <laughs> if you pipe down. Ah, oh, bless you. Let me go. Come on, guys. Don't. Now, Harry, come, come and join the big boys. What are you doing? Shh. What's this rubbish? <laughs> What's this rubbish, she says? That there is the secret to our success. It's a wrench giving it to you, believe me. But we've decided your needs are greater than ours. George, if you will. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Messrs Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot and Prongs are proud to present the Marauder's Map. We earned so much. Hang on. This is Hogwarts. And that, no. Is that really? Dumbledore. In his steady pacing, does that a lot. So you mean this map shows? Everyone. Everyone? Everyone. Where they are, what they're doing, every minute of every day. Brilliant. Where'd you get it? Nicked it from Filch's office, of course. First year. Now listen, there are seven secret passageways out of the castle. We'd recommend this, this one. The one-eyed witch passageway. It'll lead you straight to Honeyduke's cellar. Be your best hurry. Filch is heading this way. Oh, and Harry, don't forget, when you're done, just give it a tap and say, Mischief Managed. Otherwise, anyone can read it. Haunted building in Britain. Did I mention that? <laughs> Twice. Oh. Do you want to move a bit closer? Huh? To the Shrieking Shack. Oh, oh actually, I'm, I'm, I'm fine here. Well, well, look who's here. You two shopping for your new dream home? Bit grand for you, isn't it, Weaselby? Don't your family sleep in a uh, one room? Shut your mouth, Malfoy. Ooh, not very friendly. Boys, I think it's time we teach Weaselby. How to respect his superiors. <laughs> Hope you don't mean yourself. How dare you talk to me? You filthy little mudblood. <gasps> Who was that? <laughs> don't stand there, do something! What? Never told me about any Marauder's map. Harry isn't going to keep it. He's going to turn it over to Professor McGonagall. Aren't you? Oh, sure. Along with his invisibility cloak. 
Oh, look who it is. Madame Rosmerta. Ron fancies her. That's not true. Hello, me, Minister. Oh, Hank. Sorry about that. Rosmerta, my dear. I hope business is good. It'd be a lot better if the Ministry wasn't sending Dementors into my pub every other night. We have... We have a killer on the loose. Oh, Sirius Black, he hogs me. And what would bring him here? Harry Potter. Harry Potter? No, oh, shh. Come on. Harry! Oh, oh. Allowed in today. Shut the damn door. So rude. They can't dare they want to do what they call it. Young whippersnappers. Nobody's going to come to a pub where they're going to get scared out of their wits. Why? Well, Professor Dumbledore does not want dementors around the place, I can assure you. Now, tell me what this is all about. Well, now, years ago, when Harry Potter's parents realised they were marked for death, do you remember? They went mm -hmm. into hiding. Mm -hmm. Few knew where they were. One who did was Sirius Black. And he told you-know-who. Not oh. only did Black lead you-know-who to the Potters that night, but he also killed one of their friends, Peter Pettigrew. Yeah. Peter? Peter Pettigrew? Yes, little lump of a boy. Always trailing after Sirius Black. I remember him. Never let James and Sirius out of his sight. But what happened? Well, Peter Pettigrew tried to warn the Potters and might have managed to had he not run into an old friend, mm -hmm. Sirius Black. Black was vicious. He didn't kill Pettigrew. He destroyed him. Mm -hmm. A finger. That all was left, a finger. Nothing else. Yes. Sirius Black may not have put his hands to the potters, but he's the reason they're dead. And now he wants to finish what he started. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it. Oh, that's not the worst of it. No. What could be worse? Best. Sirius Black was and remains to this day. Harry Potter's godfather. <sighs> He was their friend, and he betrayed them. He was their friend! I hope he finds me. Because when he does, I'm going to be ready. When he does, I'm going to kill him. Harry. Here you are, you came. My dress robes. Well, they're all right. No lace, no dodgy little collar. Well, I expect yours are more traditional. Traditional? They're ancient. I don't know, my great aunt Tessie. Smell like my great aunt Tessie. Murder me, Harry. Leave it alone. Poor kid. 
Bet she's alone in her room, crying her eyes out. Who? Mine, of course. Come on, Harry. Why do you think she wouldn't tell us who she's coming with? Because we'd take the mickey out of her if she did. Nobody asked her. I would have taken her myself if she wasn't so bloody proud. Hello, boys. Don't you look? Dashing. Oh, there you are, Potter. Are you and Miss Patel ready? Ready, Professor? To dance. It's traditional that the three champions, well, in this case, four, are the first to dance. Surely I told you that. No. Oh, you, well, now you know. Oh. As for you, Mr. Weasley, you may, you may proceed into the great hall with Miss Patil. Oh, there you are. Come on, then. Come along this way. Session, please. Oh. She looks beautiful. Yeah, she does. My waist. What? Now. Drinks. She cares to join us. No, would not care to join you and Victor. What's got your wand in a knot? He's a damn strap. You're fraternising with the enemy. The enemy? 
Who was it wanting his autograph? Besides, the whole point of the tournament is international magical cooperation. To make friends. I think he's got a bit more than friendship on his mind. me to dance or not? No. It's using you. How dare you? Besides, I can take care of myself. I doubt it. He's way too old. What? What? That's what you think? Yeah, that's what I think. You know the solution then, don't you? Go on. Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. And not as a last resort. Well, that's, that's, I mean, that's just completely off the point. Don't worry. Where have you been? Never mind, off to bed, both of you. They get scary when they get older. Ron, you spoiled everything! What's this about? Make it a powerful memory, the happiest you can remember. Allow it to fill you up. Keep trying, Seamus. George, your control. turn now. Expecto Patronus. Expecto Patronus. A full-bodied Patronus is the most difficult to produce, but shield forms can also be equally useful against a variety of opponents. Fantastic, Ginny. Just remember, your Patronus can only protect you for as long as you stay focused. So focus, Luna. Think of the happiest thing you can. Expect your Patronus. I'm trying. I know. Patronus. It's good. This is really advanced stuff, guys. You're doing so well. Gave you a rough time the other day. Yeah, I'm okay. Anyway, it's it's worth it. It's just it's just learning all this. It makes me wonder whether if he'd known it. Cedric Cedric did know this stuff. He was really good. It's just Voldemort was better. You're a really good teacher, Harry. I've never been able to stun anything before. Mistletoe. Probably full of nargles, though. What are nargles? I have no idea. Was it? Wet. I mean, she was sort of crying. That ballet eye. I'm sure Harry's kissing was more than satisfactory. <laughs> Trey spends half her time crying these days. You think a bit of snogging would cheer her up? Well, don't you understand how she must be feeling? Obviously, she's feeling sad about Cedric, and therefore confused about liking Harry and guilty about kissing him, conflicted because Umbridge is threatening to sack her mum from her job at the Ministry, and frightened of failing her OWLs because she's so busy worrying about everything else. One person couldn't feel all that. 
explode. Just because you've got the emotional range of a teaspoon. Wanted actually. Yeah. Yeah. Right, thanks, Mom. <laughs> thanks, Come on, then, everyone. Let's clear this way. Oh, Harry, Harry. There you are. Happy Christmas. Thank you. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you. Now, Daddy, pass that to Daddy. Thank you. Has everybody got a toast? Yeah. Fred, George, <laughs> Hermione. Make sure a Christmas gets... toast to Mr. Harry Potter, without whom I would not be here. Harry. 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 Oh, that is delicious. I should be needing some more of that. Well, Daddy, don't forget about Christmas. Unbreakable vow. Are you sure that's what Snape says? Positive. Why? It's just you can't break an unbreakable vow. I'd, I'd work that much out for myself, funny enough. I can't understand. Look, and I'll take your word for it. So what happens to you? What happens if you break an unbreakable vow? You die. Voldemort has chosen Draco Malfoy for a mission. I know it sounds mad. Has it occurred to you, Harry, that Snape was simply pretending to offer Draco help so he could find out what he was up to? That's not what it sounded like. Perhaps Harry's fright, Remus. I mean, to make an unbreakable vow... It comes not... down to whether or not you trust Dumbledore's judgment. Dumbledore trusts Snape, therefore I do. Dumbledore can make mistakes, he said to You're himself. blinded by hatred. I'm not. Yes, you are. People are disappearing, Harry, daily. We can only place our trust in a handful of people. If we start fighting amongst ourselves, we're doomed. Open up, you. Don't you trust me? Good. Yeah, I'll just uh, get that. Hi. Not for me, no.
I think we should have used Apologies, Bush. No. This is where I was born. I'm not returning as someone else. <laughs> Harry, I think it's Christmas Eve. Listen. Do you think they'd be in there, Hermione? My mum and dad? Yeah, I think they would. Ignotus Peveril. Hey, Harry. Merry Christmas, Amani. Merry Christmas, Harry. 